right, welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. Wonder Woman has been delayed, not by much, literally a couple of weeks. It's been delayed till August uh, rather than July. So this is kind of a follow-up video to a video I did a few days ago, saying video a lot, whereas I said that it, there was rumor that uh, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman 1984 would be delayed um, for a long time or would be sent straight to streaming. I said uh, it's incredibly unlikely it would be delayed. It's definitely not going to streaming. Um, and look, yeah, I mean, it's been delayed a couple of weeks. It's still within its marketing ramp up. From July till August, it's still in the bracket. Uh, marketing ramp up is standard of six months, right? So this is still within that. It's it's still in the window of, you know, in people's minds. And they're not going to have to spend too much money, if anything, on maintaining uh, marketing. They're not going to produce another trailer. They will just do their normal final trailer and then just prolong it. So in terms of the amount that they're going to spend on additional marketing for this delay, it's, it's not applicable. Um, when we're talking about delays, we're talking about a few months. July to August is nothing. It's really nothing at all. You know, you wouldn't really get that excited if a movie had been moved up by a couple of weeks. You know, and you're not going to be that dismayed by it being delayed by a couple of weeks. It's a couple of weeks. So I, can't, I still kind of stand by what I said uh, in that previous video. They definitely... they were. They, Hands down, they were thinking about doing streaming. They were discussing it as a potential. And some people have said, you know, they're going to earn more money if they went to streaming and things like that. I really disagree. Streaming just opens itself up for pirating and people are twiddling their thumbs. They're going to pirate it more than they would otherwise. Obviously, disavow, selling the high seas, all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah, there's a few comments by the chairman, Toby Emmerich. Uh, he comes in and says, look, officially confirmed that Gal Gadot's upcoming Wonder Woman 1984 will be delayed. He said, uh, when we greenlit 1984, it was with every intention to be viewed on the big screen. And we're excited to announce that Warner Bros. Pictures will be bringing the film to theatres on August 14th. So it's, again, I mean, has it been delayed by nothing. Now, he added that we hope the world will be in safer and healthier place by then, which... Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, no, uh, I thought it was July, sorry. So it's from June until uh, August. So, yeah, not, not a massive delay, to be fair. Um, there were some comments. I shared this on Twitter. So if you want to stay super up to date on this, follow me on Twitter at Mistage Reviews. Patty Jenkins said, We made Wonder Woman 1984 for the big screen, and I believe in the power of cinema. In these terrible times, when theatre owners are struggling, as so many are, we're excited to redate our film to August 14th, 2020, in a theatre near you, and pray for better times for all by then. Um, I'm going to get into her comments in a minute, because it's a bit of a dickish thing to say, but whatever. There had been some rumours that Warner Brothers was discussing releasing the film on VOD. If those discussions actually did take place, then it appears they came to the conclusion to delay the film. Um, they definitely did take place. Uh, I will say I've got some new information about that from a source. They definitely did take place they did some focus groups and things like that um, there was actually a lot of support for video on demand but they've obviously waited up and they'll actually earn more money at street uh, at theaters so it makes sense now Charles Roven who's one of the producers says it's ludicrous if you consider how big a movie it is this is some comments that we've already been over um, now there's not so much else you know we've got AMC theaters and they're closing down all this kind of crap right Every, everywhere's closed down but these comments are a little bit meh you know, she's talking about theatres getting their money. Let's be honest. No, it's for you, Patty Jenkins. Um, it's for your movie to make more money. I really, I feel these kind of comments here. Look, in these terrible times when theatre owners are struggling, as so many are, we're excited to redate our film to August 14th. Guys, don't, you know, let's not, let's not drink the Kool-Aid. This is quite literally... Uh, a case of them wanting to make more money at the box office. That's all it is. Are the sentiments good sentiments? Yes, of course they are. You know, theatre owners are struggling. I don't particularly care so much about the bigger chains. I care about the people that they employ and them remaining in employment. Um, but when we talk about theatre owners, is I'm more concerned about the indie theatres that are struggling more than anything. And there's a lot of them struggling right now. Um, and yeah, it's a real shame to see them struggling as they are. Uh, but these comments, make no mistake, these comments are nothing to do with that. These comments are firmly, we want to make more money. Um, and we don't want to loot, you know, we don't want to delay it and, uh, and lose cash on a huge delay. So doing it to August, that makes sense. A lot of people are like, oh, well, 
you know, Universal, I bet Universal are kicking themselves now. I disagree. Um, you know, there's a lot of the things which we're releasing immediately for Universal. And some of the things which they push direct to uh, video on demand from now that had already been released, they were never going to make that much money at the theatre. They would probably recoup more in home video sales. So, yeah, I, I disagree that this is a huge issue for them either. Uh, ultimately, this movie, and again, like if, if you don't know, there's, there's a whole lot of leaks about this movie which confirm it to essentially not be particularly great um, in terms of the story. It's like a, a big MacGuffin crystal. Um, they follow through with the whole story and then right at the end, uh, the the events of the movie are rendered completely useless. So um, there's no spoilers there. There's nothing really to, to glean from that. Um, but yeah, it's it doesn't sound like a particularly good film either. And I'm one of these people that really liked the trailer. I thought the trailer was cool. Sadly, did confirm the leaks. But it's been delayed by all of like a month or whatever. Ba barely any time at all. So they're not going to be uh, wasting too much uh, money on this. They're not going to be spending too much extra money on this. Makes sense. Warner Brothers are... They're competing with Disney. So they're going to want to uh, compete as much as humanly possible with it. 1984 is an interesting movie to watch. And I've long said this because 1984 signifies one of the last movies that we know of that is connected to the old DC universe that they were trying to establish. Joker, what we know of, has got nothing to do with it, right? It's nothing to do with it at all. That's one of the most recent films. We've got Batman coming out. That has got nothing to do with this either. And 1984 is a very... It's sitting in limbo because we don't know what's going on. And even The Flash has now been delayed as well. So this will be an interesting film to watch and just see what they do with it, whether they go down the route of trying to change the well, change what universe she's in. Because you never know, you may get a Robert Pattinson sort of cameo. Uh, and in Robert Pattinson's movie, there may be a cameo from Ezra Miller's The Flash. So we don't, we just don't know, right? It's, a, it's an interesting one to take a look at. I'm personally excited for this movie just from the perspective of that. I think that will be very, very interesting just to see how it progresses and how it pans out. Um, and as we, as we all know, Flash is delayed. Batman's delayed now in terms of their production schedule. So it'll be interesting to see whether Warner Brothers choose to delay any of those. But if this is anything to go by, no. Um, they will delay it by a, all of a couple of weeks past its initial release date if they need to. So I think this bodes really well. And I also think there's a discussion to be had around whether any other movie studios follow suit. Because we had, remember, we had Disney releasing Black Widow. Um, I think it should have been released by now or it was releasing shortly. They've delayed it. They've taken it off the slate. We had Universal removing A Quiet Place Part 2. That's been gone. I think it's Universal. Might be Paramount. Pretty sure it's Universal. Um, so what are we going to see from these other studios now? Because this is the first one to do a, a very mild delay. Um, the, Warner Brothers is taking this very lightly. They're not really doing too much. So it'll be really interesting to see now how the other studios choose to react to this. Because that's the thing. Studios follow studios. They will see this as a precedent. And Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers have made the precedent here. So we'll see what happens whether uh, another studio chooses to kind of progress it moving forwards or not. So yeah, love to hear your thoughts. Do you think this is good news, bad news? Would you have seen it more if it was on demand? Uh, I don't know. Would you be more inclined? Because there are people that obviously sell the high seas that watch me, okay. Um, but would you have been more inclined to head out and download it if you'd known it had been streamed and you knew that you could have had access to it? Because that's an interesting question. And I think it's all part and parcel of this. And it's arguably what the producers would have calculated when they were trying to make the decision for this. So leave your thoughts on that down below. The original article to this is on Bounding Into Comics. I've left that link down below as well. Please do follow me over on Twitter, at Mr. H Reviews, and Instagram, at Mr. H Reviews. Um, like I said, I shared this out there last night, so you would have got this a lot, lot quicker if you had followed me over on Twitter. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, I've been Mr. H. Take care.